Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. 22-yard line. able to get out to the 32 brought down there 26 Saquon Barkley now that was an excellent run and when you see that happen that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more offensive linemen and tight ends they're expected to block but the wide receivers all they want to do is catch passes so when they block on a big time running play and create extra space you've got to hit the jackpot there four yards the pickup first down Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Garoppolo on first down. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. A gain of 14. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's Clinton Dunbar with a pick. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, hey, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be. But early in this one, advantage defense. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Finds his tight end, Ingram. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's go, D tight end. Let's go, D tight end. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Second and 10 at the 34-yard line. Second and 10. Rodgers now to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Alec Ogletree. The 30. Pass the 20. 10. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. 
Again. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift line. through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here we go, here we go, so here we go. second and goal and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. They get it to him running left. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Robbie Gold on for the field goal. A 21 yard count. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due. And that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. The Falcons take over first and ten at their own 18-yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line they threw an interception the first time they had the football only gave up three points off of that so shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome it really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick look I know defensive backs they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves I like the thought process there they connected on a big play and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable so they went for the bigger shot went for it all on that one this time they were ready for it so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down to throw again Rodgers and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down defensively here you're facing a top five team in terms of current sport in the NFL so when they're that high power you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win so if they're up around 24 28 30 they could be in some trouble and I think so because then you turn it into a shootout and that means your offense has to keep pace Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got a guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he's got some space here. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That good for 22 and a first down. He showed his shiftiness and his explosion to take him all the way down near the goal line. Love that description, and it creates momentum. Maybe you hand it to him again since he's got it going, or do you fake it to him and throw it to a teammate? 
Right now, the options are wide open. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play, the same set, and see if they can. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks, so a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks, chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. Garoppolo now on third and goal. And he's got it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones. His first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Makes the score Panthers 10, Falcons nothing. Robbie Gold set to kick off. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. 25-yard line. out there for their next drive and it's been a miserable start for them offensively obviously two drives two interceptions and this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him do you do it with a little bit of humor maybe you break the ice a little bit like hey didn't we practice in that color jersey all week not the one that you're throwing it to or maybe you have to be stern with him but whatever it's going to take to get the message it has to be done he's putting the game in jeopardy no gain on the play there second down brings up second and ten at the 25-yard line. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Working from the gun, Rodgers. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. With that last pass, he just went ahead of Warren Moon on the all-time NFL career passing yards list. And that's Hall of Famer Warren Moon. A significant accomplishment to be able to pass that number. Somewhere Warren is saying, but what if they added my Canada yard this year? Right? My time in the Canadian Football League, that's 21,000 more yards that could be added to Warren's total. In the NFL, he had 49,325, and now you're looking at a man that is very close to 50,000. Ten-nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Ten. Falcons nothing. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 
From the 45 on second down, Rodgers. And he'll let this one go. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. DJ Shark hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Falcons draw a bit closer. Maybe that is the boost that this offense needed. They did nothing the entire half. But out of the blue comes this big shot here. You're exactly right. Like a Duncan basketball, like a home run in baseball, maybe a solo shot. Sometimes you need that big play to get things ignited. to kick off for Atlanta. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. It's now second and six at the 29-yard line. Second and six, just inside the 30. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. It's Garoppolo. He's going deep for Brown. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. On the return, Jackson. Oh, I nearly broke that one. As it stands, though, a heck of a 36-yard run back. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Henry Ruggs, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons have taken the lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. The Panthers take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Set up the screen to Barkley, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Barkley, and he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he's taken down inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. The Panther first down. Garoppolo now. First down throw. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Khalil Mack in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing on second and long, Garoppolo. And he will be brought down, but a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. First a good pick up there, 26 yards.
And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Garoppolo looks to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Gold to add the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17 14 lead. Makes the score Panthers 17, Falcons 14. Robbie Gold set to kick off. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line after the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too had to sit over there for a little while didn't they you know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so I'd say come out just kind of get started again you know doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. To go at the 7-yard line. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. 45, 45. Mike, 45. Now Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of the game. His third on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Now gold for the extra point. Oh, and he pulled it right. It's no good. Robbie Gold set to kick off. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Yeah, 
the Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get... And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Falcons! Henry Ruggs with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Man open left side is Brown. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Carolina. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. Picked off inside the 10. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Intercepted. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Likely time for just one final play. And then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And last time, was it pretty? One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. 
I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. The former first-round pick, Marlon Humphrey, there to get a hand on it. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Ruggs. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause, to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Garoppolo tossing quickly out wide. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Complete to Anunwa. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And it's a 14-yard pickup, but it'll still be second down. Brings up second and one at the 16-yard line. On second down, here's Barkley. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. At the 13-yard line. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork. And add in a little bit of power. And you find a way to pick up first downs. On first down, Garoppolo. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Carolina. From 13 yards out. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. And oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Taken in the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. A 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points. So they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. From the 21, it's second and 10. Throwing again. Rodgers. Reception here by Ruggs. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. From just shy of midfield, Rodgers. And this one into the hands of DJ Shark. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. That's a 42-yard line. now on first down and they're gonna get him he's taken down for a sack back at the 47 yard line Josh Allen in there to bury him for a loss of 11 now they're in some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 going to set him back five yards. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Complete to DJ. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? Don't get they get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 49. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. A quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ballgame, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Second and 12 at the 47-yard First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. 
No, no, no. Check, check, check. 12, 12. 56, Mike, 56. They'll go to Barkley again. And this is going to be back-to-back -back tackles for a loss here as the Falcons' defense yet again drops him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. So we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. To throw is Garoppolo. The left side completion to Jones. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. There's the Panthers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Start the drive with a carry by Jones. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the five-yard line. The ball resting on their own five here as they come up to the line on second and long. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Touchdown, Falcons. Deshaun Jackson, 95 yards. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. And the lead is down to two. Makes the score Panthers 30, Falcons 28. the touchdown it's Bosher to kick it away and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score, but bottom line, they are still on top with the football, and a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves them with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Under 
Throwing now is Garoppolo. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 47. A critical error there in a tight game in the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes... There he goes, left side! And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta! Aaron Rodgers on fire, his fifth touchdown. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers. <laughs> what does that mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, but we found out so far. Two touchdowns here, and now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Tackle made there by Kiko Alonso. He was brought down by Kiko Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Barkley on the Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity... He may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This time they face a third and two. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 there. The Panthers have a first down. First down, Carolina. First down carry for Barkley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Ten more there and another first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Garoppolo now. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On second down, Barkley, not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. He was brought down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive. Take a little bit of the wind out of their sails. Kind of settle things down a little bit. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. 
They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. Garoppolo. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have to contend with a third and 13. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Sets up a first and goal. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Back to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown. Saquon Barkley in the final minute. And the Panthers, they're just an extra point away now from taking the lead. And with that, his guys take the lead here by a point. Makes the score Panthers 37. Falcons, 36. Robbie Gold. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So 
Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. And that's caught inside the 30. That's good. Yeah. A big time play there for the Falcons. 47 yards. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one. And they've certainly been on point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They run with Jones on first down, but he'll struggle here just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. The Panthers' 28-yard line. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. And 10. So everything hanging in the balance, resting on the right foot of Michael Badgley. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And this one is right down Broadway. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I'm trying to figure out how they remain so calm in these situations and then go out and execute because I'm up here shaking like a leaf and I wasn't the one who had to make that kick. They look calm, but I bet if you had a heart rate monitor on it, <laughs> it'd be up in the 300s right now. <laughs> Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2000. Pressure brought in and the Falcons get there for the sack. Today's final score. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for the Falcons, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And they will hit the road next week.